ambush in the woods. Our intrepid group leaves Saltmarsh to venture back to the Alchemist Mansion to complete their task. However, they encounter a group of archers who attack them from the cover of the trees and bushes on either side of the path. A lengthy and almost costly fight ensues, with several members of the quartet becoming severely injured. It is a struggle as the girls are seemingly outmatched at every turn. Their arrows, swords, and spells missing their opponents again and again. But eventually our adventurers emerge victorious. They're battered and bruised, some of them unconscious. But all is not lost due to an exciting realization. They've leveled up! That means new skills, new tools, and even a new companion. Day three, uh, you are approaching the haunted house that is sort of haunted, but also not. <laughs> it's really. occupied. Yeah. Yes. How are there's you going some, to There's approach? somebody there. Are you going to go into the yeah. front door, the back door? What, what are your plans? Because obviously the smugglers know you're coming now. Uh -huh. Oh. Do we knock or do we go in the back way and try to go real quiet like? We went in the quote unquote side door the first time. Remember? Because that was the mm -hmm. door closest to the well. Mm -hmm. um, and that took us to a landing area where it screamed at us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those screams are fake. Those are just a bit of trickery. Those stairs, I believe, will lead us back into that wine cellar where we found the dead body with the maggots. Yeah. So. But, I mean, we covered the basement pretty. Oh, there yeah. was still the one secret yeah, door you're not going through. There was one other door that we did not go into. So, if we... Oh, man. Oh. It's like... If I remember the layout of the basement... Because then we have to go... If we go in that side door, the... that'll get us to the basement faster. But then we have to cut across the room past that giant table and all the beds to get to that door. Now if we go the other way, back to that one room on the first floor with the trap door, and went down those stairs, that would bring us closest to that secret door, but that doesn't mean we don't get ambushed again coming down the stairs. <laughs> Plus yeah. that we could get ambushed somewhere in the house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Decisions, decisions, decisions. Well, I'm not going to make a decision for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, well, I'll let you know what like, you said. They might be expecting us through the back of the side door. Should we go through the front door and yeah. take our yeah. ads? Oh, there was a third door you found, too. Don't forget. Oh, there was? Yeah, there was the one on the under, under the patio. Oh. oh. We could try the one under the patio. I don't really? remember that. Yeah. Yeah, it was right next to the trap door you took into the basement. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was some bells. Okay. Can you see the page yet? The yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah see, because the front door is here. Yeah. The back door you went in is here, and the other okay. door is here. So if we go in there, we go in the trap door, and yeah, that trap, will take us straight to the trap door is right basement. there. Yeah, that seems also like the second story. Well, let's finish. Let's finish clearing out the basement, and then yeah. go up to the to the second floor. the second floor. Yeah. Secret door is right over here, bottom left corner of the room, after all the beds. Okay. Who is going to... <laughs> yep. Who is going to open the door? Is it locked? You tell me. <laughs> I wish I could see if it's locked. <laughs> yeah. So, what? 
so I should do a perception check. Perception. Yeah, it looks fine. No, no locks, no traps, nothing you see. Let's open this sucker up and see what we got. <laughs> All right. All right. Go ahead and move the covers on the map. Um, unexpected. I was not expected. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? What? What's this? Oh my word! Okay. Oh, you're you on the see, inside. You don't see <laughs> oh, all of that yet. But. Okay. Okay. Nothing to see here. Yep. All right. So the passages and caverns, caverns beyond the secret door in the south wall of the room you're in, all decline perceptibly toward the sea. Uh, some of them Andy, are well lit by torches. Okay. Yeah. So. The immediate area you can see is lit by torches. Uh, now, this area over here is dark. Okay. And you can sort of see this a little bit also dark. So mainly the, the tunnel leading off towards the east is lit. The other tunnels next to it are not. So what are you going to do? Well, my guess is this is how the smugglers are moving things without people seeing them. Because if this leads to the sea. Yeah, easy and easy out. Yeah can keep up the um, act of haunted mansion. Mm, any noises they make, people are going to be like, ooh, ghosts! Exactly. Mm -hmm. and everybody's going to be too afraid to come here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we can do our nefarious deeds, and yeah. nobody will be any noiser. Which, if there's a great gang of smugglers and mm -hmm. the council, or at least or one member of the council wants to use this house for other things probably doesn't want it being absconded by smugglers although that's just not really what he hired us for right. <laughs> to, to shut down a smuggling ring right <laughs> but, but if there's smugglers well some of i could make contacts yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, and if they don't, well, they're smugglers. Yeah. They're shiny things. Yes. yes. <laughs> there's yes. there's there's coin to be had and jobs to be to be gained. Yes. So. Yes. Mm. And if they're not and if they're not willing to. Who knows yeah. what we find out. And if they're not willing to uh, to work with me, well, you know, I'll just kind of I'll abscond with a few of their wares. Mm -hmm. <laughs> tell tell Pro Cam if they're not so nice deeds and see what he has to say about you. He has to say about it. Exactly. Well, do we want to uh, see where these tunnels lead? Or should we let's go. Yeah. Or should we finish checking out the rest of the house? <laughs> <laughs> Good point. Well, uh, let's see. It's open now, so. I mean, they know we've been here. Right. Surely at this point, they know we've been here. Odds are we're going to come back. Mm -hmm. yep. So maybe we can get the jump on them. Yes. So, hmm, let's see. Hide on the second. Do, do our, do our rec con on the second floor and then make our way down. See what they have in front back. Mm hmm. Well, I mean, we're already here, and True. it's already open. Mm -hmm. If we're okay. smart about this, we could explore the tunnels. Mm -hmm. If there's anything worthy of grabbing, we can grab it before they find us, and then uh -huh. find some way to maybe block it off. Ooh, like that idea. Yeah. And throw a little wrench in there. Mm -hmm. And their plans here and their little setup. Mm -hmm. I like this plan. Uh, yes, I like I like yeah. the way you I think, my dear. Cause a little chaos <laughs> where the bad is. Mm -hmm. You're rubbing off on us, my dear. <laughs> 
All right. Well, let's go in and see what we can see. And maybe we'll find some big rocks to <laughs> block it <laughs> off of the process. All right. <laughs> Who is going in first? Uh, well, it's dark. <laughs> yeah, so, I can't part of it's see. dark. Yeah, part uh, of it's dark. Th this part is all lit up. Yeah. Uh, the main path there. But I can't see in the dark, so once we get beyond that. <laughs> Probably need someone who can see in the dark. And yeah, and Ember, Ember could sniff out and see if there's anything oh, yes, that we that's, need to worry that's about. True. We do have Ember. Ember, Ember yes. in your nose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> your handy nose. Mm -hmm. Guess that means we're volunteering to go? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Although Ember cannot see in the dark. just so That's okay. okay. But she can sniff. She can sniff, though. <laughs> yes. Make a noise if you smell something. All right. So Ember first, and then Enya. Who is going to go next? I'll go I next. can go next. Oh, okay. So now I'll go behind there. you, Fenea. Because I can't. Can't Fenea also see in the dark too, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, so that's not a space. Yep. There we go. Sorry. <laughs> it's a little there crowded. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Got a social distance. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. You don't see anything immediately. Like I said, that the room off to your right is in darkness. The path in front of you, however, is still lit by torches. Okay. It's kind of damp. It's kind of slick in places. There are a few spots where the smugglers have put down like mats and stuff to help with footing. Okay. Um, it, it's an uneven, naturally formed cavern. So do, do we want to go the obvious route with the lights on? Or do you want to explore the dock? Odds are they put up the lights for themselves, so where there's torches already hanging, that's probably the route they take. So let's go. Let's go. Uh, let's go talk to some people, maybe, <laughs> or you know, steal from them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll stick with the lights for right now. Yeah. All right. I love that must musty water smell. It reminds me of home. <laughs> okay, so you head about. 30, about 30 feet down the path. You still haven't seen anyone. Still torches, though. Uh, Enya and Ember give me perception checks. Okay, on the wolf sheet, this it goes, you know, armor class, hit points, speed, attributes, saving throws, and then skills on the left column. So it's still the red text. Ah. Oh, my wolf. wolf is... Yeah. Ember is quite perceptive. Yep. She stops and points. There are creatures ahead. Uh-oh. In here. Now, given the, the curvature of the cavern, you cannot see them yet, but she could smell them. Oh. And, well, you could hear them, but you don't. But your wolf smelled them. So there that are. Something, Nicole. What? What is it? Well, she would just growl, indicate. Mm. You know, okay, she. Something's here. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Just stay on what. the stay on the offensive here, ladies. Mm-hmm. Good girl, Amber. <laughs> Gird Good girl. your loins. <laughs> so what are you gonna do? <sighs> yeah. yeah, do we move? Do we go towards the light or do we I go yes. in the dark? Well, yeah, up ahead there are people. Both caverns behind you and to the side of you are dark. Well, how about. Let's see. If we knew for sure they were coming our direction, I'd say we go down this dark tunnel and ambush them. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I'm in favor of, of, of a surprise attack. attack. Yes. 
Yeah, or, well, you, you know, or, or not, maybe, not, maybe not attacking, but like listening to see who they are and if they can be uh, identified. Can, identified, and if we can talk to them, if they are going to be reasonable. This, um, this, uh, what's this little spot? Um, look, kind of looks like a thumb. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah. Is that but, is that is that dark or is that is that lit? Which part? Um, oh, this. Yeah. This little yes. bit that's hanging out. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's lit by the torches nearby. There aren't any torches in it. So we could could we get kind of hide there and try to eavesdrop on these guys? Or that's I was thinking pens. me because I'm I'm smallest. And you're you're the sneakiest. Yes. Well, yes. Should be. <laughs> and like so, like we hide down the dark tunnel, and then Betty can sort of hide down there and the, see if she can. Because yeah, we're not doing anything. That will depend on how close they are to the entrance of the room you think they're in. That's a good point. Because yeah. well, what about what about this, this part little? Here they can maybe see. What about coming down here to this part? Well. If you go there, you go right past the opening of that large room where you're pretty sure the wolf is smelling something. Okay. Uh, okay. This is not an ideal situ- uh, setup for, no. s- for spying. No, it's no. not. Uh, let's see. I haven't done some good eavesdropping no, recently. Does anyone have a spell that might hold? That's what I'm trying <laughs> I, to figure I out. Thought I, had, I thought I had something with invisibility. I could be wrong, though. Or didn't we get a didn't we get an item with invisibility? That's what I thought. Or did I take the... Oh, I thought I... Yeah. But invisibility is a second level spell, and two of you can cast second level spells. Right. So let's see. So this would be... Leia, what are your second level spells? I invisibility. Invisibility, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you straight up have invisibility. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. Do you have to cast it on yourself or you can you cast it on anyone? You can cast it on anyone. Okay. The main cool. restrictions are they it lasts for an hour unless okay. um, you attack or cast a spell, in which case it ends early. Okay. So, which one of you ladies would like me to cast the invisibility spell on? I vote for the sneaky one. <laughs> Same here. Because uh, okay. invisibility is great, but if you're clumsy, big and clumsy, then it's it's not yeah. going to do so well. I'm the, okay. I'm the lightweight person who doesn't make a lot of noise when she walks. Betty, are you ready, my dear? I guess so. <laughs> so I invisibility roll? Okay, well, you just cast the spell. So okay. I will need... Okay, stealth checks... Basically, every time you move, and if you move more than a couple squares at a time, you'll be at a disadvantage. Okay. So, do I need to click my invisibility? Uh, Well, just make sure to mark that the spell's been used. All right. So, give me Betty's first sneak. Not sneak attack. Stealth roll. Okay. All right. So, so far, so good. Where are you going to move to next? It's like two squares at a time. Okay, give me another stealth check as you sneak along very quietly and slowly. Okay, from where you're standing, you can start to see there are definitely people in here and the room is still... So the, the, the corridors you can see leading off to the right and this cavern here are both lit up. Um, you can certainly see this dude standing in the entryway, so you will not be able to get past it. He's standing right in the entryway with his weapon at the ready. Ah. The big hobgoblin. You can see figures behind him, but you're not close enough to, to really see past him. Can I hear anything? Well, give me a perception check. Um, now that they're, they're trying to be quiet, and it's kind of hard to hear over the dripping of the water on the cavern walls and, the, and you, know, you got the clanking a little bit of the Hop Goblin's armor so you can't really hear anything else. Now, 
does does she have the ability to go like go unnoticed through someone's square or unnoticed no ah move through their square yes but uh yeah that would Don't be much harder to avoid being <laughs> noticed okay are you going to move any farther forward uh dang it <laughs> Okay. Alright, give me another stealth check. So this is what you see. You see a bunch of barrels. You see some bolts of cloth. You know, um, both are marked like very prominently with the king's seal. So these are definitely stolen goods. Probably valuable, but hard to sell. And there are a total of six people in this room. There's the hobgoblin in the entryway, for lack of a better term, since it's a you know, cavern, um, kind of blocking the space. There are two men behind him with crossbows, two ladies farther back with bows, and in the back, there is a bald man with very piercing eyes who just screams wizard. Well... Great. And clearly they are waiting for you. They must, have, they must have known you were coming or seen you as you approached the house. But they, they are ready for battle. Well, there's no there's there is no uh reasoning with these guys. The only no. question is can we we can can we all be, have invisibility cast on us and we sneak up and get, get a get a surprise round? Well, the short answer is yes. The answer for your circumstances is no. Crap. Because your your bard friend can only cast invisibility twice. Mm-hmm. And I've already day. done it once. Yes. Just so. So, are you going to go any farther or are you going to back up right now? No, I'm going to back up. <laughs> okay, so give me just one more stealth check as you pull back to report. Oh, I also forgot one of the components. The, the longer, longer answer is completely no because Betty may be the one who's invisible but um, Leia is the one who is concentrating on the spell and she can only concentrate on one spell at a time so that, that's, the, that's the answer I thought I was going to get I just wanted to yes. hear it yes <laughs> now later on when you can cast higher level spells I can multitask more but right now yes. one job well, one, it's, one it's, spell one job yeah yeah, so in- invisibility is a second level spell and it targets one creature. If you cast it as a third level spell, it targets two creatures. And then fourth level spell gets you three and so on and so on. And there are other more powerful spells that target multiple people at once, but never mind about that just now. All right, so. But Betty can talk to you. She'll be invisible for the next hour unless she attacks. Okay. And she can definitely report that there are six people ahead. So am I going back to the gang? Okay. Yeah, you, you can move okay without bringing about your stealth checks at this point. Okay. I should probably like retreat just a little. <laughs> yeah, if you're going to talk, you might want to pull back. But yeah, so then you, you guys pull back to the other room. Yeah, yeah I was like, can we go back up to the base, the basement? Yeah, let's go back. Yeah, all right. Okay, so in that case, can't, everyone can't, give me a stealth check. I can't gesture because you guys can't see me. <laughs> okay, stealth that, check. Yeah, everyone needs to make a stealth as you pull back. Oh, let's see. Oh, crap. Oh, Chrissy rolled poorly. Holly rolled worse. Oh, crap. You big Green did okay. Guessing I need a... Yeah, I need, I need one for the, the wolf as well. Wolf did fine. Okay, the wolf is doing awesome. Okay, the and... The girl Ember. The girl Ember. Yes. Rachel, let's see your stealth check as you pull back. Oh, I already did mine. Oh, you did? Her, oh, that's hers that last the last one. Oh, yeah. It was the same yeah. result as before. Okay. Yeah, because well. it was in all her other stealth checks, but yeah. Okay, yeah. so yes. are, right, we, are, are we hosed? Well, let's find out. That's the fun part. <laughs> Let's see. The point of having the rogue go and be invisible is so we didn't alert people to our presence immediately. Yeah. 
Well, oh, oh, that I'm, home garden is why I'm the light-footed one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Your characters don't know this, but the hobgoblin standing guard just rolled the one. So yes, you were able to pull back just Hop fine. Hobgoblin must have imbibed in some mead a little too much or some ale, and yeah. Yeah. So he, he did for a gust of wind. Been, been hitting the sauce a little too much on, on duty, I guess. Mm, yeah. Apparently. Whew, okay. Good thing. <laughs> All right, so now you can talk a little more freely. All right, okay. well, uh, okay, so, buddy. Yeah. What's the what's the good there, news? Bad news here. It, okay, well, <laughs> there is no, the good news is there is no good news. How's that good news? Okay, the bad oh. news is there's no good news. <laughs> well, they only outnumber you by one. Yeah. Yeah. So there's six. Uh-huh. There's a big gnarly guy, some goblin looking dude with some armor who's standing right there at the entrance. Looks like he's just waiting for us to show up, and I don't think he's expecting us to sell Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> um, and then there's a handful that is, there's of. There's stuff that used to be had, but yeah. yeah. Continue. yeah. There's a handful of other burly types, and then a guy that I'm guessing is probably the ringleader because he just screams, I know magic. Oh, oh fun. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah, so I'm guessing he's the guy whose book of spells we stole along with his coat. <laughs> <laughs> well, is it, do they, does it look like they're guarding anything of interest? Well, yeah, there's a bunch of cloth bolts and some other things. There's some barrels with the king symbol on them. Ooh. And I'm guessing that they weren't lent to them or they got those from the king. Um, so nicely. we're thinking <laughs> we're thinking of five finger discounting? Yeah. I'm guessing so. Well, that but... that won't stand. Yeah. No, it I won't. mean, it won't stand for, for petty thievery. Yeah. I mean... The, I guess the good news is is they're all right there so if we could keep them in that I yeah, I don't know if there's an, any way out of there but it, it's a seemingly a dead end we would mm-hmm. have them trapped in there but... yeah there is another corridor but the room you saw did not have any obvious exits Yeah, okay. no obvious way for them to get out other than the no. one entrance that I saw well you know, if we re- if we were, were if we were to return these goods to their to their rightful owner, there could very well be a reward for it. Yeah, true. that is true. We'd have to be able to get the jump on these guys, which would not be easy. And then also act, I, not actually, yeah. we don't want to destroy about- anything if we. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, too. But I'm a little worried about the sorcerer because we don't know how much Google magic food he has. Yeah, no, is... actually, you know exactly what he has. Okay. Because we have that book. You, you have his book. You, you know exactly oh, what spells good. he has. Yeah. I thought, didn't we give that to the other guy, though? Yes, but. Okay. Oh, we did look your, at your it. characters we look looked it. at it, so they would remember. So yeah. I can go ahead and tell you. You refreshed the memory, I for Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So what was, I, so, so what was in that? What was in that book? What, okay, yeah. the one that you're pretty sure was his uh-huh. had scorching ray and magic mouth for second level spells. For first level spells, he had silent image, magic missile, color spray, and charm person. And then cantrips. There was ray of frost, minor illusion, and dancing lights. So to break down the, the offensive spells. Scorching Ray fires three bolts of fire that do 2d6 damage each. Magic Missile fires three bolts of force that do 1d4 plus 1 each, but always hit. Then Ray of Frost will just do a d8 cold and slow you down. Yeah, Magic Missile is is not not a uh, one to be trifled with. Yeah. It, well, it, it, it's, yeah. it's, it's not the hammer version of the tiny missile. No. Yeah. <laughs> but that would also indicate he's probably roughly as powerful as you guys. Because he doesn't have any more powerful spells than that. Okay. 
Well, I'm just looking through my spells because I do have Fog Cloud, which um, it, it, it heavily obscures the area where I cast it. The only thing is I'd have to get somewhere. If I could get close enough, I could fill the whole cave with fog and they wouldn't be able to see anything. Yep, and neither would you. That is true. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, I could vicious mockery and this and it was for the guy, but... That's just one guy. I, yeah, I'm, I am I mean, the, the thugs, I'm sure, are just thugs. Like, they, yeah. they don't have any Right, yeah. 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 Or if they do, well, it's not... Yeah, the couple of thugs are similar, but then there's a couple of gals that I think probably know their way around the bow and arrow. Well, yeah, yeah. I was like, I, you know, they, but they didn't look like they knew... They were magic. magic. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, but then the one guy that's right up front, this big ogre looking dude. A goblin. So he's a big, basically a big goblin. Yeah. Uh-huh. He looks like he could step on me and squash me like a bug. Yeah. So, so my question is is it worth getting possibly killed <laughs> for, <laughs> yeah. for what's in that cave? Or should we just, you know, politely... Adventurers, the answer is always yes. I, I, I think we... it's it's obvious okay. that they know. It's obvious that they know. They're expecting yes. someone, and odds are it's us. Mm-hmm. Well, we've, then we've let's not been. Then. We've not been very um, on the DL as far as rifling mm-hmm. through their stuff and taking out their friends. True. Well, yeah. Let's not disappoint them then. So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now your invisibility spell. The minute I attack, it's gonna disappear, right? Yes. Yeah. But that will give you advantage on that first roll, guaranteed. Right. Yeah. Right. So either pointy or quasi brand new toy. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna go for this gonna do it yes i was hoping yeah. for a surprise round but that doesn't seem like we're gonna be able to do it yeah i hope you truly are feeling better ember after uh all the care that you've been under mm-hmm. <laughs> we're gonna need your help yes yeah, girl it's, it, it's time to go it's time to go maul some dudes mm-hmm. <laughs> baby baby scratchy scratchy chew toys num nums yeah <laughs> all right so you're able to get back to this point without much problem. Any closer, and they will start to see you besides for Betty. Right. Okay. And oh. incidentally, Betty won initiative, so it's your turn first. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! So the question is are you going to rush in and stab things? Or are you going to use your bow? I mean, you could even conceivably get down past and then attack that way. Leave more room for your allies to move in. If, if you surprise, you 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 get initiative. Yeah. I mean, yes, they're expecting us, but they don't know we're here yet. Yeah. Yes. Well, they're not expecting little old me to be invisible either. So. Yes, exactly. They're, no, they're not. So let's let's use our let's use what advantages we have. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So okay. Here's the plan. I think I'm gonna go down the path to that little alcove to the right. And wait here? Yes. Okay, so you can go just past the opening into the right. Okay. Um, and oh, I get a use your bow on the hobgoblin. Uh, that would be a surprise. Although yes, I haven't, I haven't done that well with my bow. Though. <laughs> yes, well, uh, that that's just the dice because you're just I, as accurate with the bow as you are with the I I know sword. Yeah. Now the angle's a little bad. Yeah. But you have advantage because he doesn't know you're there. Yeah. So you have a good chance of hitting. 
Although, do keep in mind, he, he is wearing clearly heavier armor. Yeah. Plus, I wonder if I go at him with my short. Yeah. Can I... If if you stand can... here instead, what what one step closer? Yeah. You can just stab him, and he won't have cover from the rock face. Right. Can I go after him with my short sword, and then follow up with the offhand? Yes. Yeah, have, have a short sword in both hands. You can yeah. totally do that. Yeah, I'm going to do that. All right, well, let's see your first attack. Again, you have advantage because you are still invisible yep. until the moment you attack. Well, I have some bad news for you. <laughs> you actually still missed. <laughs> All right, but you still have your offhand attack. Yep. Which also missed. <sighs> So you, you rush up, well, you not rush up, you sneak up very quietly, you pull your sword, and you stab him, and both swords just kind of slide off his armor, and so that, now you have your arms on either side of him, like you're giving him a, a, a stabby hug. No. no. Stabby and, hug. Yep, stabby hug. Oh, I'm gonna put that on a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, well, I? You still have, okay. Here's the good news. Okay. That was um, most of your move and your action. You still have your bonus action and one square of movement left. <laughs> so you could actually disengage as a bonus action and move away. Or you could, you know, just move away and try and hide again, but he would swing at you as you moved. Yeah. Or you could move all the way back. You know, you, you have options still. Because you're, you're a rogue. You can do a lot with your bonus action. Yeah. And you have one square of movement left besides. Uh, I'm gonna make a hasty move. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Where are you going to move to? Disengage as far back as possible. <laughs> okay, so if you disengage, you can move one square. Okay. So maybe to there. Uh, er Okay, to there. All yeah. right. So he yeah. can still totally see you. But I'm out of arm's reach, hopefully. <laughs> yes. All right. Enya, it is your turn. Do a little finger turn. wave like, hi. All right. Can I at least catch him off guard? <laughs> you did. He was, was totally he surprised. surprised? <laughs> he was totally surprised by the stabby hug. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Do I know I'm you? I'm right here. All right, so you move up into the corridor. You can now clearly see all six enemies. Luckily for you, it took it took you guys longer to actually make it to them, so they had started relaxing a bit. Although they were still expecting you, they weren't ready to attack the moment you appeared. I'm going to aim for one of the archers, because they could okay. try to attack... The, the guys in the front with the sh crossbows or the ladies in the back with the bows? Oh, uh, I guess one of the guys with the crossbows. All right. So let's see your attack roll. Well, that will definitely hit. And uh, let's see. 13 points of damage. Actually, 15 because he's a humanoid. This, that's not included in the total because he's your favorite enemy. So, yeah... The, the bolt goes straight through his armor and into his sternum and as he falls forward you can see the tip of the arrow sticking out his back so he is he is quite nice. thoroughly dead Yay. nice shot alright and your turn is up it's the hobgoblin's turn now uh -oh. you can see him looking you over and he Hug? is going to step <laughs> forward one square and try and skewer the little huggy, stabby halfling. Well, he hits. Uh -oh. And you're, uh, you know, you're bolstering confidence from having Leia around, and she's just so pretty. Uh, <laughs> Help, helps you dodge just a bit, so instead of stabbing you full on, the sword just kind of scrapes along your side. Yay! It hurts, but not as bad as it could have. 
So yeah, your temporary hit points are gone. Tis but a scratch. <laughs> yep. All right. Now it's Leia's turn. Okay. So let's see. Yeah, unfortunately, you're a little farther back because it's so, so cramped in that corridor. Yep. But you can still get to. Actually, that's as far as you can get. Okay. Well, I'm going to try my new toy at the Hobgoblin. Okay. You can still hit him. He's got a bit of cover from the rock faces, but you can see a, a chunk of him. Okay. Unfortunately, that will miss. It will Crud. shatter. It'll, it'll like bounce off the rock and then shatter against his, his armor. Okay. Where is the shot? It's just a little crowded in here. Just yes, slightly. Just, just slightly. All right, and it's the cleric's turn. Finea. All right, so... Do, 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 do. This is as far as you can get. All right. Because, yeah, well, one thing, I actually hadn't realized this in, you know, what? Six years of this edition playing. The rules totally say you can move through your ally's space. They also say... Doing so counts as difficult terrain, which makes perfect sense. But I didn't okay. actually ever notice that before. Okay. Well, I can get the hobgoblin with my crossbow. See? Yep. Okay. I will simply do that then. Uh, bink! Oh. Well, when you roll a one, I mean, the, the bolt, like, bounces off the floor next to his toe, buries itself <laughs> in the ceiling... And scatters some dust down into Betty's eyes. No. This, <laughs> yeah. this is, this is going to be a repeat of last week, isn't it? Oh, please! Uh, I'm no. sure I don't know. Okay. <laughs> the second of the lady scouts, the archers yeah. is going to move over a little bit so she has a better shot at. Uh... Oh, it's going to shoot for Enya. Uh-uh. Ooh. That will hit both times. Ouch. For a total of 17 points of damage. Now again, you know, your your courage from your, your friend being around, being just oh so pretty helps. <laughs> and you only take 12 points of that. This is one of the reasons why I like bards. They're very useful for that. Yes, they are. Especially okay. pretty ones. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Well, Never that's most under- bards. Never Green. underestimate the, the power of a hot bard. <laughs> yep. One of these days I will find, there's there's a comic strip. Uh, it's a running gag that the bard keeps ending up in situations like that. And there's a picture. It's like him, there's a dragon, there's a minotaur lady, there's a medusa, there's some kind of scorpion woman. And a centaur, him in the middle, <laughs> and then a whole bunch of kids. kids. The yeah. oh I think I saw goodness. that one. <laughs> yes. Is this an e old episode of Jerry Springer? You are the father. Yeah, I don't think the bard would dispute that. Okay, well, it is the wizard guy's turn, and he's like foaming at the mouth. It's like, finally show your faces. Where? is my book and as, as punctuation with each word he shoots a ball of fire ow uh, well, that first one was at Enya and it did max damage so you just oh. got blasted straight in the chest with a bolt of fire and then he does it again that one misses it goes past your ear I think you might have lost some hair and the third one misses as well. So that was that was lucky. He did not get burned Ish. to death. Ish, yeah. I think it was close. It was close. <laughs> Dang, I didn't know you liked your erotic poetry so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, his his face Don't turns even more God. purple. <laughs> and he's like Don't taunt the wizard. It, it, like, he, he can't even speak now. He is just so so pissed that you're, you're, you're mocking him and, 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 you're you know, the right job, but hey, d- downplaying the, the loss of his uh, his spell book 
All right. Well, the bandit thinks that the fire did more than it did, so he's going to go after Betty instead of Enya. He will hit with his crossbow. Ouch. A solid hit for eight points of damage. Got you in the thigh. So that hurt. And now it's the last archer lady's turn. She pulls back two arrows at once and releases at both of you. First one's going towards Enya. Well, the one that Enya misses, but one aiming for our short friend hits. Ten points of damage. Not good. It's the wolf's turn. Come on, girl. Sick of members. Sick okay. of how, how can, uh From the looks of it, he can just barely reach the hobgoblin. Help mama. Help mama, Ember. <laughs> yeah, because he, he's a little faster than you guys. So he can make it to he- all the way up Come to the on, hobgoblin girl. by like dashing around your legs and stuff. Okay. Come on, girl. Okay. Bite the hobgoblin. Does he bite the hobgoblin? Yes. Woohoo. Because Good of girl. advantage. Alright, let's girl. see the damage. Oh, and I need to roll. Oh. Well, give me your damage first, then I will explain what happens. Uh, what did I do for the damage again? Okay, so where it says attack in the chat bar, click on that. Okay, so, you know, in the, the chat bar, it'll say bite, wolf companion, attack 1321. Oh, right. Click where Sorry. it says attack. <laughs> Got it. All right, so the wolf sinks its legs, it sinks its teeth into the leg. <laughs> yes, its legs are involved because it's, 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 it knocks the hobgoblin over, like, like shaking its head with the leg and its teeth. The hobgoblin is not dead, but he does not look very good. He probably got good an goal. artery or something. Good girl, good girl, good girl. Good girl Amber. Okay, well, when all this is over, I'll we'll spring for Scooby snacks. Yes. <laughs> yes. And it has now been six seconds. Nice table and steak. And was this way hotel happily? <laughs> did I get play to bread, Mama? Yes, very good, good. Very good. <laughs> I don't worry about those. Okay. Well, it's Betty's turn. Oh my. Uh. Well, so there's a hobgoblin prone next to you who is yeah. nearly dead. Yeah, I'm going to stick him with the pointy end. Okay. Happy Let's Debbie. see your attack. Whoa, Black Betty, step in. Okay, because he's prone, you have advantage and you hit. And he is well and truly dead. Woo-hoo! Because he had one hit point left. Good. And you get dead, you know, dead. an additional 2d6 from your sneak attack on top of that. So he is quite dead. All right. He is it's, most very dead. It's still your turn. You have your. Oh, I goofed last round. Uh-oh. It doesn't matter because you missed anyway. But worth <laughs> noting, um, <laughs> you can totally attack with both swords, but that takes your action and your bonus action for future reference. Uh-huh. So you wouldn't have been uh-huh. able to move away. Okay. In this case, it doesn't matter, and, and that was my mistake. So, but just keep that in mind. Yep. Okay, but yeah, it's your turn. You can move. You can use a bonus action. Um, do a jig. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not with my thigh at the moment. Do. Nope. Unless I'm doing a one-legged jig. Uh, okay, so from where I am, what can I see as far as who is left? Well, you can actually see pretty clearly the four remaining bad guys. Okay. You can also see your blood... St- you know, trickling out of the the wound, the wounds. I think you got sliced and you got poked. Yeah. Uh, but hey, the A for temporary hit points. If not for temporary yeah. hit points, you'd both be unconscious. Yeah, that's true. Where am I with hit points at the moment? You have three. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I, I, so I'm already doing slightly better with six. Yeah. Okay, so I know who I need to help heal next turn from me. <laughs> right. And there are still four bad guys you can see. Yeah. Guy with the crossbow, two ladies with bows who seem to be trained just about like the ones you fought before. Yeah. You know, two, two arrows per round. Well, let me and go. then the wizard. Yeah. Well, let me go. 
Let me try to take out the last guy that's not the wizard. Okay. My short. So you'll have to. Well, you'll have to move up and stab him because you can't oh, yeah. use your short bow. Oh, yeah. And you wouldn't get sneak attack. Yeah. All right. Stabby hug. <laughs> Let's see your attack roll. Okay, that will hit. Damage, however, will only be two. Because this offhand attack, it doesn't get your dexterity bonus. But you did hit him, and did take damage. Okay. I'm going nope. to... Well, nope. Okay. Anya, it is your turn. Right. I'm going to go to where Betty was. And I'm going to aim my longbow at the guy. Okay. That last time. Oh, hey. <laughs> you. Nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, you just nice. seem to be having no. a good way with that because that yeah, was you a critical kind of hit. Obliterated him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That was more than double what you needed. So. <laughs> <laughs> that There's like. The arrow goes in through his eye socket, out through the back of his head. There's an eyeball dangling off of it as it pins into the wall. Nice. <laughs> he, he is so well and truly dead. The only good thing is that he was dead before he knew it. <laughs> Hopefully Just, the magician is shaking in his boots. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's the... Yeah, both of those guys died pretty horribly. At, at, okay. at arrows. Just... Bam. We didn't come to play. <laughs> you. No. <laughs> All right, Leia, it's your turn. Yep. Okay. Now. It's now three to five, but two of you are pretty hurt. Who's the most hurt out of the? Yes. Bunch. Well, well, uh, Leia, if you take one, I'll take the other on my next turn and, and see okay. use both action. So. So I'm. Well, let me take care of Betty. Okay. Huh? With heal, uh, which would be better, the healing words or? Yeah. Uh, well, if you you, you cannot reach her, that's as oh, far as you move. can get. So. Okay. Yeah, healing, healing word, word it has to be. Okay. Rolling, and level two. I need a pep talk. <laughs> Your pep talk is coming, sweetheart. Okay, eight hit points. Now you are oh. out of second level spots. Yeah. You still have all your first level. Now the good yeah. news is that was a bonus action, so you can still attack. I can still attack? Yeah, yep. you can't cast a spell, but you can attack. Yeah, so if you have a ranged attack, use it. Uh, all I've got is that light crossbow. Would that work? Yes. It would totally yep. work. All yeah. right, I'm going to take one of the ladies. Doesn't matter which one. You take the one to the south. She takes okay. five points of damage. Yoo-hoo. Arrow kind of hits her in the shoulder, kind of skims along her shoulder there. Okay. All right, Finea, it is your turn. All right, so I can move... Ooh, where can I move up to? You could uh, make it to this square or this square. Because because of the pack of people... Which you one? Can't, this you one? Can't, no. Well, well your, your here, thing didn't... Okay. Or here. You can't make it into the cavern room because okay. of the Okay. Well, if I go there. if I go here, then I can't see anything. So I'm going to go here. Okay. I'll go here and um well, I still want to attack, but I will use healing word on Enya. Okay. Uh hold on a minute. You got 7 points back. Thank of you. Of healing. And then I am going to sacred flame uh, which one got? Which one did, did one Leia of the hit? One, one of the archer ladies. The one to the south, I think. South, yeah, this yeah. one. Yeah. This one. And she utterly failed her her dodge. She just Yay. straight up. Yeah. Toasted. Yep. Holy beam. Yeah. So so a holy beam of fire comes out of the out of thin air, hits her in that same shoulder and cauterizes the wound, but she's not thanking you for it. <laughs> Broken compels you. <laughs> yep, and it's now her turn, so she's going to return the favor. Uh oh. Um. What I think of that. <laughs> well, it's a big bunch of you, so she's going to just start at the front. Uh oh. Betty Duck. 
Yeah, really. However, her aim is thrown off by the pain of not only being shot with an arrow, but hit with holy fire, and she misses both attacks. Oh, thank you. Okay. Now it is the wizard's turn. Uh-oh. Let's see. Hmm. He's going to try something different. Uh-oh. Uh, that doesn't, that doesn't that doesn't sound, sound good. Okay, he's going to do it. He moves to here. Uh-oh. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> Hi. Personal space? Yep. Bubble? I'm not going to like this very much, am I? So he, like, spreads his hands and just a wave of dazzling multicolored lights spread out. Ooh. Oh, he rolled terribly. That's just sad. That okay. was. Well, no, that's not the damage. Oh. So, Enya and Ember, you are blind. Oh, oh crap. Here, let me... That's not good. I can get it to... So, 13 and 13, 26. So, yeah, just the two of you are blind. And then he's going to move back a square. Because he doesn't no. realize... He, he doesn't realize that... that Leia isn't blind. However, oh, Leia is using a crossbow, so she can't actually do anything. Right. Um, question: How long does the blindness last? Um, or... Till the end of your end of. Is one round. His next turn. Okay. So, but yeah, you are blind. You can't see. You can't take reactions. It's all around not good. But he's very disappointed he didn't get more of you. What well, does that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that that was his turn. Just stuck with the erotic poetry. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Well, after that, he points out who is blind, and the scout will target them. First attack mm-hmm. on the wolf misses. Second Ooh. attack, which was targeting Enya, hits. Yeah, that's red. But only does a glancing blow of five points of damage. Sounds like, sounds well, like it, Enya, Enya and Ember aren't the only ones who are blind. Mm-hmm. Well, she <laughs> hit at least once. Alright. It's now Ember's turn. However, the poor doggo is blind. I was going to say, can't really... So, uh, honestly, growl, probably... Though. Yeah, probably <laughs> best to have the wolf just take the dodge action. Yeah. All right. Fall back, girl. Yep, fall back. Well, we got this. Go back. Go back by for now. If you yeah. can. Come here. Come here, puppy. <laughs> Follow the voices. Mm-hmm. All right. Meanwhile, unnoticed until <laughs> now, from around the corner. Uh, um. Oh, wait, I can't what? Oh, I can't, crap. I can't see. Yeah, you, you got see. ears though. You can <laughs> yeah. hear. Yeah. You can you hear can something hear. in in heavy armor clanking around the corner right next to you. Uh, guys, there's something behind me. I can hear it. Uh-uh. Yep. Yeah. Oh, and next thing you know, you get slashed with a longsword. But <laughs> it's the, the angle is bad because of the corridor and the, the cavern walls, and so it's only a glancing blow for four points of damage. <sighs> Alright, okay. Betty, it's your turn. The heck was that? You didn't see, so you don't know. You saw the, a, a bunch of blinding light out of the corner of your eye. The mm. wizard is next to you, and mm. there is an injured archer in front of you. Mm. <laughs> this guy's bad, bad news. He needs to go down. Mm-hmm. So, um, so now can I do the the two swords at once? How do I sure. do that? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, on your sheet you'll have um, different entries for short sword and short sword offhand. Just click uh-huh. both of those. Oh, just one after the other. Yeah. Cat. Uh, oh, I don't have his. One moment. I need to pull up his sheet again. His token doesn't have the armor listed. No. Oh, well. Yeah, those both hit. 
<laughs> Good. Good. Now you don't get sneak attack, but you don't have any allies helping you out. But that's still 15 points of damage. Sweet. He is not, however, dead. Oh, crud. Okay. Yeah, but he's Anya? not fully alive either. Yeah, uh-huh. and yet it's your turn. You're blind, I'm... and there's a guy right next to you. You can kind of tell where he is by sound, so you could try attacking him, but you'd be much more likely to miss. Can I heal myself? Absolutely. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I think I... Okay, so you got your first level spell slot still. Cure wounds, 12 hit points. That's good. You rolled well. Nice. Hanging in there. Yep. All right. Okay. Uh, Leia, uh, it is your turn. You am are... I close? Okay, now am I close enough to that um, person next to Betty? Can I atta- try to make an attack with my crossbow? Crossbow, yes. Okay, that I will try. That will miss. Correct. Okay, was well, worth the shot. Literally, yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, Finea, it is your turn. All right. Um, I move up here. Yes. Okay. I'm going to move up here. And I am going to enact Guiding Bolt on the wizard. Okay. Now, as a bit of warning, using a ranged attack when you're next to him means you're more likely to miss. So should I step up here then? Um, I, or did I, I didn't use all my move, did I? Yeah, if you step there, it would be normal. Or you could use a, a melee attack or I'm going to move up flames. here because yeah. I'm tired of this crap. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Come on. Uh, all hail broke him. Mm-hmm. Hey, I clicked on it. Why aren't you going? It's asking if you're going to do it first or second oh, level. right. You're right. The answer is first. I can't do second? Well, you can, I guess, if you want. Uh, oh, yeah, right. You still have yours. Mm-hmm. Okay, 13 points of radiant damage is actually just enough. He oh. slumps over and is like... I guess. It That's was you- literature. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> you keep telling yourself that, bud. Mm-hmm. Well, he can't because he's dead, so... <laughs> I was gonna say it's like I I could I could handle you attacking attacking my friends and even almost killing them, but Debbie pastels. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well it's the archer's turn. They're gonna fall back. To the back. Yeah. Oh, that archer's turn. Should do we want to surrender? Or <laughs> we can do this easy way or the hard way. Yeah, their response is to try and uh, kill the pirate halfling. Eight points of damage from an arrow. That that hurt pretty bad. Oh, crud. And it's now the other one's turn. They're going to pull back and do the same thing. <laughs> Except she misses both her shots, so... <sighs> Let's see. Now, now uh, is, Ember ba- is Ember back to full sight now? No. Yes. The wizard is We, we passed where the wizard would have been, so the, the effect is done. So, yes, Yay. in fact... People who are Ember? blind are no longer blind. Yay. More num nums. I think Embo is not happy about. The... Does Embo know about this one, the hobgoblin here? Yes. Okay. Yeah, he's he's clearly visible. Embo is going to attack. All right. That will definitely be a solid hit. Not She's had the taste of it. hobgoblin. She likes it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, when he falls prone. So he is knocked down. Oof, good. But it's his turn now, so he's going to like Uh-oh. shake off the wolf, stand up, and try and swing at its head. Cause... Uh-oh. Duck! Oh, and that hits. Good news. She still had temporary hit points. Oh, good. Bolstered by her friend, the bard. And so she only good. takes... Five points of damage. Uh, All right, Betty, it is your turn. You have two, two archers in front of you. And it sounds like the hobgoblin is in trouble behind you. So 
Things are looking a little better. Well, I think that uh, I need to uh, get a little closer to these ladies and stick one of them with the pointy end. <laughs> yep. You with the pointy end. All right, that will hit both times, and the one is dead. She'd already been hurt a little bit, so that's enough. Now, I have more bad news for you. Uh Uh-oh. Um, we don't like bad news. No, we don't. It's bad. (laughs) Yep, from behind the hobgoblin. Oh, crud. Um, you see another archer dart up the corridor, shoot um, two arrows, and then dart back out of sight. Oh, crud. Somehow she manages to miss Ember with both attacks. Oh, well, that's good. Uh, Thanks, Rokan. Hey, Enya, it is your turn. Right, You're going... blind, and there's a hobgoblin right next to you. I'm going to stab him. All right. That will miss, unfortunately. Wait, no, no, it won't. It won't. Well, okay. Re- read on the on Ember's character sheet. Pack oh. tactics. Oh, that only applies to it. I'm sorry. Oh. Darn. No, my- yeah, the wolf right. has advantage on attack roll against a creature if at least one of the allies is next to it. So the wolf would have advantage, but you don't. I got that mixed up. So you, you got you us all you, excited. I know. Okay. But at least the wolf hits more often. True. Oh, that's good. That that's actually turned one miss into a hit already. Mm-hmm. But you uh, missed, so. No. And, yeah. How many spell slots do I have left? Can I do curing on Ember? Let's see. You've cast one spell so far, right? Mm-hmm. And you have two slots left. Okay. I'm so, gonna do But you can't do it right now because you already attacked. Oh, okay. It's an action. And and don't forget about Hunter's Mark too. That one you when you cast it, it'll last for a while. Oh, you, Wait, that that's Brittany. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm getting too mixed up. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Like, Holly has an attack. I have an attack. Oh, yeah. attack. <laughs> oh, oh, right. Yeah. They has an attack. So could yes. I... Well, that, that's why I was getting confused, because it's not your turn yet. Oh, it's not? Okay. No, oh, it, it is. is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is I'm, Leia. I'm, I'm, I'm Leia. Yes, I know. It's not your turn yet. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Another yeah. archer. Sorry, that's why I was getting confused. Okay. Well, I kept looking at the turn order. I'm like, it's right like, there. It was there. Yep. <laughs> That's because the other, the last scout was hidden because uh, you didn't know she was there yet. Uh, oh, boy. Uh, oh. Uh, oh, that's uh, me and Mark. Oh, uh, crap. Oh, no. The I don't know where these guys are coming from, but we need, uh, we no. need to smoke them out. Yep. Okay, so... To, to properly answer your color now, uh, your, your, color, your, your question now, now that I know who I'm actually talking to and I'm yeah. confused, uh, yes, you have at least three spell slots left. I think you've only you cast invisibility and you cast right. healing word at second level spell. So you have four yes. spell slots left. Okay. And Enya has two. Okay. I'm going to do a cure wounds on Ember. Okay. Uh- but first, I have, I have one more attack. Okay. Uh oh. Well, okay. Le- Enya is not really visible, so this attack against Leia. Seven points of damage. Okay. You, however, were still at four hit points, so. Yep. Okay. And you had temporary hit points because you're just that pretty. Yep. <laughs> just that pretty, <laughs> and then you, you even um, you even encourage yourself with your prettiness. Yay. Okay, sorry. All that done. Now it's your turn. All right. I'm going to do cure, cure wounds on uh, Amber, and I do it at level one, correct? Yeah, yeah. Your level two spots are gone. Okay. Okay. Better than what it was. Yep. Now, this Thank might be you, a good Lynn. time to mm-hmm. use, because 
remember you, you gave your very temporary hit points already mm -hmm. you have a third use per day now okay. might be a good time to do it you can give three allies temporary hit points and four oh. of you need it okay um which three need it well okay so you don't have any Anya okay. doesn't ember doesn't and betty doesn't of those four you're the best off okay yeah so you might give it to the other three yep give them to the other three so as a bonus action you're like behold my majesty <laughs> i am so inspiring or however you want to do that that's up to you yep go for it you guys <laughs> listen to me we've got this let's get rid of them yep and you literally get prettier as you say that that's part of the magic <laughs> Yay. And, and you're already pretty pretty yep <laughs> i don't make the rules i just adjudicate them <laughs> now is there anything that i need to roll nope Okay, Straight perfect. up, five temporary hit points to three allies. Sweet. And All right. the, the better news, when you hit level four, mm -hmm. you, you, you can increase your attributes. So you can increase your charisma. Then you can nice. do it to four allies and Ooh. four times a day instead of three. Nice. Sweet, sweet, sweet. sweet. That's next Ooh, level. Ooh. Okay, next so that level. was your action, your bonus action. Yep. You could move if you want, but that's about it. I'm going to stay put. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Now is it my okay. turn or yes? Or now it is your turn. <laughs> okay. I no did, more I sneak attack. Are there going to be any more little little surprises coming up the corridor? Okay, well, I'm well why would I tell you that? <laughs> but no, there's not anymore. Okay, so, well, I'm still in the cavern. Um, there's one more archer, so I think I'm going to crossbow her. That's gonna miss. Crap. Uh, you guys, the dice don't like you. They still don't like it, you. No. Now the good news is. You're, you're actually outnumber them now. There's four bad guys left and, and you know, five of you, but... Uh -huh. Still. They keep, everyone... they keep multiplying. Yes. They're like, they're like Pringles. We don't want that. Yep. Well... I thought there were only ten beds. I was like, I'm pretty <laughs> sure we have a There were. More than ten people. However, they've gotten reinforcements over the past two days. Yeah. There In are more of them now than there were before. Uh-huh. There's just not enough beds to go around, people. Some of y'all are going to have to go. Yep. No yeah, more there, there, there are more of them now than, than there were. We're taking care of that problem. So are you saying that we shouldn't have taken that break? We shouldn't have gone back into town? Well, see, that's we just We kind of had it. to. It, yeah. It, yeah. It's... yeah. It wasn't a matter of should we. It's a matter well, of... Yeah. Oh, it, 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 imagine, imagine doing this fight where you were at the end last week or the week before, even with less guys. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we, won't, we wouldn't even have Mbot. She would have been still healing. Yes. That's, that's true. a good that's point. A good, that's a very good point, yeah. So, yes, the fight's harder because you retreated and came back later, but you're also in a much better position to survive the fight. So it, mm -hmm. it's, it's a trade-off. Yeah. Pros and cons. <laughs> okay, so yeah, the... Uh, the last remaining archer lady in the cavern room like slings her bow and pulls short swords and tries to skewer Betty but only manages to hit once for four points of damage which does not actually do anything because Yay. Betty is just that confident because her friend is around mm -hmm. so you have one temporary hit point left okay it is Ember's turn there is still a hobgoblin in front of her yet to come. And Ember's going to fight him. She is indeed. Yep. His leg comes off. It's very <laughs> it's very grotesque. <laughs> you go. Lunch. 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 this big spray of red. You gotta go with the corner and go on that go right ahead. We'll yeah. Call you if we need you. Yep. Okay. Well, Ember can still move. Ooh. There's two archers down that narrow corridor ahead. Or you can pull back. That, that's the trick. Do you go after them? Do you have them come to you? What do you do? Oh. What do you guys think you should do? Do you think it'd be... Well, they've got to be coming from somewhere, so right. we need to figure out where these yahoos are coming from and see if we can... Mm -hmm. 
cut them off <laughs> so that no one yeah. here. So mm-hmm. yeah, you have to go after him. Yeah, seal up the entrance. It's like I'll, I'll uh, so between Finea and I. I think we can finish off this one gal. You guys go down that corridor and see if you can <laughs> cauterize the wound here. <laughs> yeah, got um, it. it. I'm just gonna go and try to intimidate them. I guess I don't know. It's like, look, I ripped off someone's leg. Mm-hmm. Yes. You want to be next? Mm-hmm. I'm not full. I got room. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, her turn is done. It is Betty's turn. One archer left. Unfortunately, you still don't get sneak attack. No. Because there's no allies nearby. But you have two swords and one target. Yep. Well, you hit with one of them. The first misses wildly. Just completely hitting air. But the distraction of that gives a chance to stick the second one in. Pretty solid. Is now this scout's turn. That's why I carry two. You can't see, but it is going to attack the wolf. Uh Only one hit. The wolf yelps as an arrow goes Uh along its side. Okay, Enya, it is your turn. Alright. Can I go heal that? Yes. Yeah, you totally can. Better watch out. I have a feeling she's about to go all Molly Weasley on their butts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you yep, you hold yep. my wolf. Yep, not my wolf. Mm-hmm. I think, can I, I think so. do the hunter's mark on one of them? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you'll mark one of them as your, as your prey, and then when you hit them, it does extra damage. Alright. Which one <laughs> attacked? That, that was the Emma. one I just marked, this one. Oh, okay. I'm going. Okay. Okay. Let's see your bow attack. Click the right thing. Be helpful. Okay. Solid hit. Okay, so you need to roll a d6 to add to the damage. Okay. Okay. The easiest way is to type it in, or there you go. So, 14 points of damage. Not happy. Uh Yeah. The, the scout's like, ugh, it takes an arrow to the gut, but she's not quite dead. And now it's her buddy's turn. And she thinks you're the more dangerous target, so she's going to bypass the wolf. And only hit you once. That'll do... No, oh, well. Once I get past your temporary hit points, it does a single point of damage. <laughs> so the arrow I... flies by your cheek yep. and, like, scratches it. So you now have a little... A little tiny cut in your cheek and the arrow hits the wall behind you okay now how far can I move down can I move down by Anya um well not that far because you're in her space now okay like that yes there you could get that's about as far as you could go though okay and then can I longbow the one or yeah, light crossbow the one that uh, Anya had the hunter's mark on Yes. All right. No that's problem. What that's what I'm going to try and do. Oh, it's not a very solid hit. You just barely managed to tag her, but it's enough with the existing wound that she just slumps over against the wall. <laughs> yay! Yay! Good. That's what you get for going after Ember. Okay. Finea, it's your turn. Hey, let's see. Well, I'm still in the cavern. We still have this archer to deal with. So yep. let me... Since my spells have not been really... Well, I mean, my crossbow hasn't really been landing. I'm going to do Sacred Flame on her. Okay. Alright, eight points of damage. She looks pretty worse for the wear. Like Her whole side of her face is blackened and burned, but she's not quite dead. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, a suggestion, since you know, mm. you're still learning this, oh. it would be useful for you to move up because then Betty can get sneak attack. Oh. Well, I, well, I mean, it, I can still move up, can't I? Yes, you can. Well, then I will move up. Like, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm just, no, like, you'll be all the okay. way next to her. Okay. Because you, you, you get sneak attack if you have advantage, 
or if you have an ally adjacent to your target to help destroy. Okay. I'm, I'm used to using Sacred Flame as a ranged thing. Yes, which you can do. It's just in this case, Betty needs an ally up, up in her enemy's face to get that extra... All right, well, there you go. And I literally can't get in their face unless somebody's got a step stool, so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, should I get you a box? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Grab one of those barrels, will you? <laughs> Ye old soap. Here you go. Would you like me to describe it to you? Or yeah. Or to a box? <laughs> yep. Well, the scout in the corner is getting panicky. She slashes, slashes wildly with both her swords at Betty, connects once, but it's not quite enough to drop you. Betty is, is uh, well, let's put it this way. You just pull the dagger from your gut and are like, uh, hello, my name is Blackwater Betty. <laughs> you stabbed my gut. Prepare to die. <laughs> Meanwhile, it is Ember's turn. There is one chew toy still in range. Yes, and she is going straight at all. Let me do the one I stabbed. That'll hit. Nice. Ooh. Ow! Ooh. Whoa! Ooh. Well, it looks like Ember's um, tendency to go straight for the um, <laughs> the jugular. Uh, no, no, she's too far down for that. The what's the one in your leg? The, the uh, femoral. The femoral. Oh. Yeah, she totally got the, this this archer lady's femoral already, and now she is learning why it's good to have armor on your legs, not just your torso. <laughs> a lesson yeah. that Lella is is going to be wasted here in Indy Wars. Yes. yes. Well, it's like she she has an armored skirt with with her armor, but that doesn't help if the wolf comes up up from below, you know. <laughs> but yeah, that that scout is regretting her life choices. Betty, it is your turn. Fashion choices. <laughs> well, you know, which are now, which are now her life choices. <laughs> the, the, the armored skirt is usually quite useful. I mean, the yeah. Romans used it for hundreds of years, if not. Yeah. Well, Rome fell, so <laughs> yeah. not because of armored skirts. We don't know that <laughs> for sure. They may have left that out of the history text just because it's right. embarrassing. I, I, I will ask my friend who's a military historian see what he thinks of your theory. In this episode of What Not to Wear Weaponry. Yeah. Hey, okay. if it's good enough for Xena. Yeah. Well. <laughs> she also has that spinny thingy with the blade on it. So. Yeah. Right. Okay, well, anyway, it's Betty's turn. All you need to do is land a hit and you can sneak attack. Okay, so I'm gonna sneak oh, attack, and I'm gonna yes. speak, I'm gonna sneak attack with my dagger. Let's okay, let's see that coming. Y you missed. <laughs> what? I even you, know. you, you totally you missed. Guess. But but you still have your offhand short sword. Oh, okay. you still have a chance. It's Come like, on. Just, uh, oh, gonna... you did it! Ah, nice. Golden Enya Stark. In your gut. <laughs> <laughs> it did it, and that I totally planned that. Dead. Yep, and you have <laughs> one hit point left, literally. Oh boy. Okay, Enya, it is your turn. Going to. We'll be there to help in a moment. Uh -huh. well, Archer is bleeding hopefully out. Hopefully, you won't need like. it because. Well, see, that's the trick. The archer isn't doing so good, but neither is Ember, and the oh. archer's going to go before Ember. So you better get in there and finish it. Uh, that's not. I don't think she hit. No, I don't, I don't think, think I did. No, that in fact is a crit miss. Oh. Ugh. The arrow goes right past the wolf's ear and just clatters against the stone, which is really, really scary because now it's the scout's turn. Oh, bother her! Now she had to drop her bow and all the craziness, but she still has a short sword. Crap! Miss, miss. Oh, she misses, and <gasps> she misses. Thank goodness. <laughs> Leia, it's your turn. Okay. Um, hmm. Let's see. Now, can I still try to do my light crossbow? Yes, but from where you're standing, your angle is very poor. It'll be okay. harder to hit. So can I move to about here? Or yes, too, but at, okay. well, at that, that range, you don't want to use the crossbow anymore. You want to use a, a melee weapon. Okay, why don't I go with my rapier? 
All right. Like that. Oh, well, you, yes. you, nice. you, you stab her straight through the heart. Just I have a crit miss. She has a crit hit. <laughs> yep. Yep. You're, you're welcome. Okay. Now It's called have, teamwork. Yep, exactly. your kickers will have to search around for a bit, but I can tell the players that was it. That was all the bad guys in this part of the uh, caverns. <sighs> want to, you'll want to go around and you know search more. And loot. But, quite. So, we're going to use this opportunity to remind you how short rests work. Okay. Because it is way too early in the day to take a long rest. Right. All right. On your character sheets, you have what's called the hit dice. Mm -hmm. Yes. That represents, you know, your pool of energy and your stamina. You take a short rest, you kind of regain your, your bearings. So, if you go ahead and click on where it says hit dice, it'll automatically roll. It's your level up dice plus your constitution modifier. Okay. So for example, Brittany rolled and got six. So Enya would heal six hit points. However, that is not enough to get you all the way back up. You can spend a total of three because you're level three. Okay. You're level two. You're level three, right? Yeah, we're level three. Level three. So you, you can spend two more. Although you can't get them back as quickly. Like when you take a long rest, you'll get half of them back. Now, if it's an odd number, is it half uh, rounded up or down? I honestly don't remember offhand. It doesn't say here. Oh. That's rude. Oh. Yeah. Half the curse will level them. So, since it doesn't say, I don't want to look on the more authoritative source. We're just going to say round up because screw you. <laughs> <laughs> what the, the, the DM says goes. Yes. yes. Well, and nobody hit me, so I'm good. The only thing okay. I, I lost, is, I used a spell slot. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Brittany, are you going to spend more hit dice? You have uh, two more. You're missing nine hit points of your 30. I think I'll do one more. Okay. And I and I think with mine, I'm, I went way over. So I'm back up to my hit and then some. Okay, Holly. Betty healed six with the first. She had one hit point left. And then Leia. So I need to spend some more of that. <laughs> yeah, Leia's back up to full. Yep. Penea's back up to full. And then another 12 points for Enya. That's enough. I thought it was at 1, 7, 12. And yeah, Betty's going to need to spend all three of hers because yeah. she had one hit point left. Does well, okay. have one? Like, does Canemo do one, or is it just Canemo stays at three? <laughs> I think it has his own hit dice. Let's take a look. Well, okay. Let's look at its sheet. Yes, it has hit die. Okay, so, yeah, if you look at the, the wolf's stat block, it says hit points 13, which is 2d8 plus 2. So... Click on that? Yeah, well, no, that, that won't help, but it's a d8 oh. plus 1. Right, because it's a D8 for its hit die, and its constitution is 12, which is plus one. So yeah, roll one D8 plus one. Seven, so eight points there. Eight plus one, and then if you, yeah, it'll have two right now. So if you spend the second one, it's down two hit points. Well, she is down two hit points. Keep it at that. Okay. So we spend an hour resting. Then you gotta take all the time to re <sighs> cover all the fun stuff. All right, oh. let's see. What all did you just kill? There were. Is someone ready to take notes? Yep. Hold on. Let me get my pen. <laughs> uh -huh. All right. All right. First, I want um, Finea and Betty to roll D100. The percentile okay. dice. We are seeing if you're lucky and whether or not the hop element's armor is salvageable. Slash then R. Yes, and then a space. Although, do note that little tool toolbar you have on the left, towards the bottom, there's a little dice. Oh, that and one. you can click you click on that directly uh, to roll stuff. I forget about that. 
All right, but eighty-seven, sixty-eight. So yeah, that that's pretty good. The armors are salvageable. You got two chainmail and two shields, as well as two long swords. So that's it. Oh, and two long bows. That's what the right. hobgoblins had, along two with two chainmail, two shields, two long swords, two long swords, two long bows, two long bows, and we'll say between them, twenty arrows. Yeah. All right. Okay, so the two lower ranked dudes, they had. Okay, their armor's ruined. Um, two scimitars and two light crossbows with 20 bolts. Okay, and there were four of the archers. Right. So, yeah, give me... Each of you give me a D100 check. Let's see if their armor is salvageable. Okay, so all of us? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Two of them wow. definitely aren't. Oh. All right, none, none of their armor is salvageable. Okay. Then again, you put arrows straight through them at both True. sides. So, yeah. Yeah, oh well. Yeah. well we, it's we our were own little, fault. We, we, were all, we were all a little ticked with them going after yeah. Amber. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. There are four longbows, 60 arrows, and eight short swords. Okay. Now you pull up the actual book. Okay. My favorite word. <laughs> what, 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 what shiny yeah. goodness did we find? Yeah. Or, Obviously, or what, what, what survived our our attack? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and still... yeah. Obviously, the wizard spell book you'd already found, uh, but you do find a set of really pretty dice that you quickly realize are loaded. Yeah. And. There's also a, well, once you can look at it, and you have a bard with you, so she can mm-hmm. can't identify no problem and figure it out. It's called a Pipe of Remembrance. Ooh. So, like, you remember this, the bit where Gandalf and, and uh, Bilbo are blowing, you know, smoke, smoke rings mm-hmm. and make shapes and yep. stuff? So yep. it's like that, but the, the smoke just keeps gathering, gathering, and gathering, and then the smoke will tell a story. Like Ooh, what, what, one of your, your greatest achievements, it'll act it out in the smoke and then disappear. Nice. Nice. And finally, let's see. You find a set of armor finely crafted in um, like a very, very sea motif. You know, uh-huh. there's waves, there's dolphins carved in it. It's kind of um, polished to be a, a more sea foam color uh, let's see what kind of armor is that though? if Nea uses studded leather Enya uses studded leather yeah Betty uses okay so I think we're gonna go with studded leather because I think that's what you all wear I okay is the light armor even studded well, uh, yeah, I think all of you... Well, no. Okay, so right now Betty has normal leather armor, not studded. Okay. <laughs> okay, so all of you wear studded leather, don't you? Like, light yeah, armor. I, I believe so. I mean, yeah. Finia can wear heavier stuff, but she doesn't. I need to make sure... I'm pretty sure it can be whatever I want. Light, medium, heavy. Yes. Okay, so it's called Mariner's Armor. Okay. Uh, while wearing this armor, you have a swimming speed equal to your walking speed. In addition, whenever you start your turn underwater with zero hit points, the armor causes you to rise 60 feet towards the surface. It's decorated with, you know, uh, water motifs. So, any of you can use it, but you need to decide who gets it. Uh, I would probably suggest not Finea, since she can already breathe underwater. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, well, speaking of as you probably will not be surprised to learn, there will be a fair amount of underwater combat in this campaign. Not immediately, but there will be. Uh-huh. Oh, Enya's is so happy about that right now. Yes. Yeah. Well, 
How's how's the wolf gonna fare in that? Yeah. Yeah, that's what yeah. That's, that's what Lottie <laughs> wants that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> How do you play Ripples on this one? Well, so here's the trick. Underwater combat is tricky unless you have a swim speed, either naturally or through magic. Okay. So stuff like short swords and daggers work fine. Mm-hmm. Stuff like bows do not. Oh. Okay. Crossbows oh are fine. Okay. Because they work a little better under one. Although the range is still limited for anything. Right. So Finea is fine under one. Okay. Betty would be okay with her stabby weapons, but not her bow. Okay. Enya is at a disadvantage because she relies on the bow. Uh-huh. And Leia would be okay because she uses magic and a crossbow. Okay. So... I'm thinking Based that on that... I'm thinking Enya needs to get it. Time for another costume change. Yep. <laughs> yep. Okay. At least it's oh, yeah. not black leather. It looks pretty. No, it's it's blue it's, leather. Yes. <laughs> I, I was making a once upon a time reference. Trump is still Anya, changing into Anya that. Even like thinks it's pretty. <laughs> totally yeah. not her actual style, but she thinks it's pretty. For some reason, I don't have an entry for Mariner's armor um, in my compendium here. So we'll just do that. And as, as far as you know, your your armor class and all of that, it doesn't change. The armor okay. itself is more durable because it's magic, and it gives you you know the, the water speed and all of that. No, later on would there be something that we could craft for Ember, or do we need to find a kennel for Ember? Um, spells <laughs> would be your best bet. Okay. Water breathing is the obvious spell. Okay. It is a third level spell that is available to the druid, ranger, sorcerer, and wizard. Okay. So that's not as useful as I thought. I, I, I didn't realize it wasn't on the cleric spell list. Th- there will be ways to, to deal with that when it comes up, but okay. you will have to deal with deal with it. Yeah, J- just trying to think in advance. She, she's part of the Ohana. We have to make sure she's looked after. Yes, mm-hmm. indeed. She earned her keep more than enough. Definitely. Today. Yes. <laughs> and I, I, I owe her a box of Scooby Snacks. <laughs> it, 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 it was right. a nice juicy steak when we get back to the uh, <laughs> inn. Yes. She's going to be eating good tonight. Mm-hmm. Although she's had a lot of protein already. <laughs> That's true, true. true. She needs treats, not yeah. just yes. not, not just you know, art you know, blood blood infused minions. Yes. <laughs> she's a wolf. She likes her. She likes her meat that is true. on the bloody side. <laughs> and, and, and there's always room for more. Mm-hmm. Now. I have another question. Is there some way that we could protect this area that we thought in from any people coming back in? Or do we just have to leave it to be? Well, if you can get people to guard it for you, that would work. Okay. Block it off or, you know, there's different things. Mostly it's the question of who knows where it is. Okay. Which, if you look at the map right where you're standing... There's a boat there. Yeah. There a, boat. a little boat. But there's a boat. A little boat. Not, and that's where not. you got to get thinking. So these mm-hmm. are smugglers, yes? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. Which implies a ship. Right. Which means there's a ship that comes in and unloads here. Right. Well, you've seen no evidence of a ship. Mm-hmm. Except for that little boat there. Which means the ship isn't here. Which and does then- kind of suggest the ship will be back. And that suggests that that little boat belongs to said big ship. Yeah, I mean, the obvious uh-huh. inference would be that the ship is there for when um, the, the, the boat comes in so they can ferry uh-huh. stuff back and forth. Uh-huh. Right. Now, but you have not the... dealt with all the smugglers yet. Mm. Crud. What? Now, is there any way we can get onto that short boat and see if there's anything to identify said smugglers? Oh, like if it has the name of the ship on it or anything? No, it's it's unmarked. Yeah. Good okay. idea, though. Mm-hmm. Oh, and speaking of, so the barrels are brandy. 
Okay. They're, they're clearly marked as King's goods, so you know they're stolen. Mm-hmm. And the um, the cloth is silk, also marked as you know a trade good of the king. So it's very valuable, but trying to sell them off would be very very tricky. Mm-hmm. And you would hope there would be a reward for returning them in, although obviously it wouldn't be the full value. Right, and then the assumption that is it possible we're trying to do a double deal? We're the ones that stole it, and we're looking for the reward money. Well, yeah, it's happening in Mighty Ness and the Million Speed. Possibly, but then again, you were hired to come here by one of the council members. So. True. Now that you've had your short rest, it's worth noting you still there's still a lot more to explore. You haven't even got upstairs yet. That's true. No, yeah. Yeah, there's. I mean. Yeah, that, the the point of this was to come down to the basement. Finish clearing it out. Yeah. Right. Mostly done. There's still two rooms left, but they're both in darkness. So you're not sure if this one's going to go in there. All right. So what are you going to do next? To be continued. Until next time, stay safe, adventurers. You have been listening to the Five-ish Fangirls podcast. You can find more episodes and information at thefiveishfangirls.com. Any and all books, movies, games, and any other forms of media mentioned are owned and operated by the respective copyright holders. No copyright infringement is intended or implied. If you wish to support the show, the easiest way is to leave us a rating and review. More ratings and reviews will make it easier for others to find the show. If you wish to support us monetarily, you can do so at patreon.com slash fiveishfangirlspodcast. All money goes towards fees and equipment to keep the show going. For official Fiveish Fangirls merchandise, visit redbubble.com slash people slash fiveishfangirls. We love hearing from our listeners and encourage feedback. You can email us at fiveishfangirls at gmail.com. You can also like and follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash fiveishfangirls. Thank you so much for listening, and may the squee be with you.